worse than usual this morning. I didn't think that was possible. It's a system error. Fix it. Fix it? Yeah. We're not a pit crew at Daytona. This can't be fixed in seconds. You didn't have seconds. You had three weeks. The universe was created in a third of that time. Well, someday you'll have to tell us how you did it. <laughs> this is one of those projects I've been watching from its inception with Fincher and Bale and blah, 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 and finally it gets to you. Yeah. Uh, were you, uh, talk a little bit about when you heard Fincher was on it, when you when you were finally offered it, were you like, get the fuck out of here? <laughs> like, <laughs> it, was, it was amazing because he didn't get the credit that he deserved for Social Network. As a director, you look at that film and everybody's raving about Sorkin and, you know, blah, 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 and Zuckerberg and all that kind of stuff. And I was going, that is brilliantly directed. You have no idea how well. You know, as a director, you can recognize that. So I'm a big fan of Fincher and Gone Girl, was brilliantly directed. Again, he didn't get the credit for it. See, he's the great classicist of American cinema as a director. I'm sorry. They, everybody keeps calling him a video, you know, guy comes from pop videos and stuff like that. He's the classicist now. He's the great classicist. And it's beautiful. So anyway, I should stop talking about him. So, <laughs> so it was like, I think Rudin, so Rudin sent the script. Scott Rudin sent, sent us the script. And I think probably Rudin probably thought, oh, he won't do it because he won't want to step into Fincher's shoes. Delighted to step into Fincher's <laughs> shoes. I mean, somebody I admire enormously. And I thought, if I could do half as good a job as on this as he did on Social Network, we'll be there because people should see this. It's really important work. I don't know why they've fallen out and he's dropped out of it, but this is my opportunity. And it's a, it's a huge provocation, the script the, and, and the idea of it. It's a provocation to a director and to actors to say, can you do this? come on board and own it. And I loved it. And I understand how he worked in retrospect on Social Network because of it. And, and that was the only film where everybody said, you should be looking at West Wing. I wasn't bothered about West Wing. I was looking at Social Network. And it's interesting, Social Network. It's the great sitting down movie. It's an amazing movie. Everybody's sitting down virtually all the time. And the only time anything serious happens is they suddenly get up and it's like enormous kind of drama happens. And so that when this was the opposite, this was the standing up movie because Jobs is all about movement. He loved walking and talking. So we had an, a key there to how to do it, to how to select to acknowledge the kind of work that had gone before, network, because this is part two, really, of a tech trilogy that I think he should do, Sorkin. And this is the moving one, you know, where they just the momentum is taking you through all these backstage areas and stuff like that. I'm very, man, I have so many questions for you. How long was your first cut? Was there any deleted scenes in this thing? There's a couple. There's a couple, very small. Uh, couple, we took out a couple of scenes for all sorts of reasons. I'll, I'll try and talk about them on the Blu-ray or whatever. They put the deleted scenes out on. A couple of small ones have been deleted. That's so all. like under five minutes? Uh, uh, probably about five minutes, actually, yeah. Um, memorable moments from filming. Was there a day or two you will always remember from oh the making? Oh my God, <laughs> apart from his performance, daily being in the presence of, Ju of Michael's performance of him and the other actors. It was actually the weird days where we advertised for crowd. We couldn't afford to fill the theatres. So we advertised online for people to come in dressed in gear from the 80s <laughs> and fill these theatres on, on a Saturday to give up their Saturday. And they turned up. We were mobbed. That's, that's his, you know, I mean, we were shooting in San Francisco, which helps. But we had 3,000 people turn up three different times for, these, for those big days, and they were amazing. Because you sense the energy of people, the desire, the thirst for this world that he's given us, this potential that he's given us. There's some critics there as well, of him as well. Um, and that was, a, well, that was salutary, you know, because you go, wow. And they make an enormous impression on the film. And they did it for free. We gave them an apple, I think. A, a real apple, not a, not a product. An actual right. apple and a banana, I think, is their lunch. And that was it. And they gave, gave us that time for free. So if any of them are watching, listening, hats off to them. I'm the only one who knows that this guy is someone you invented. Is there a plan? The plan will reveal itself to you when you're ready to see it. 